Are you looking to learn how to needle felt a pumpkin? If so, then you're on the right video because today I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to make one of these and more. And if you're a beginner fiber artist, this is a great project for you to learn how to needle felt. and welcome to today's video, How to Needle Felt a Pumpkin. My name is Iceland, and on this channel, Snowflake Forest Felting, I share needle felting videos, have needle felting tutorials like this one, and share product reviews from time to time. So if you're new and this interests you, please consider subscribing. And if you want to know more about anything you see here on this channel, be sure and check the links down in the description below this video, or leave a comment. I'd love to connect with you there. So to begin, I'm going to show you everything you need to make your felted pumpkin. You're going to want a tape measure to help you make your pumpkin the size you want it, felting needles of your choice, and a pair of scissors to clean up your pumpkin when you're done, some foam pads to protect your surfaces and the needles. I like to use one for when I'm working with the bone and another for when I'm working with colors. Some pencils or something long and round to make the tendrils or the vines of your pumpkin. And you're also going to need a sink with warm running water to make the vines or the tendrils on your pumpkin. And then you're going to want some brown or green for the peduncle or the stem. And then also if you're going to add a leaf or anything, the colors that you'd like to do those items in. I'm just going to use two browns on this project and two greens. You're also going to need the bone color for the filler of your pumpkin. And then the outside pumpkin color or orange color of your choice for your pumpkin. Now let's get started felting. Go ahead and take out your needle felting needle you want to work with and then take your bone colored wool in the amount that you want to make your pumpkin the right size and you're going to begin to shape it a little bit like a pumpkin or a melon round but not a complete like perfect circle if you want to make your pumpkin a little lopsided taller shorter wider Whatever creative way you want to make your pumpkin, you can. I want mine to look more like a traditional pumpkin. You can check the size of it in case you need to add any wool. This pumpkin is going to be around 4 inches in size, so I'm going to add another layer to it. And then just keep piercing the wool and adding any wool that you need until it is nice and firm and completely felted. You don't want it all squishy like this. You want it solid. So patience will be key here. If you want, while felting your pumpkin and want to begin to make the rib lines or stripes along the sides, you can do so or you can do that when you begin adding on the orange color. If it helps you start to envision it a little bit more, adding those in. All right, now that your pumpkin is nice and firm and felted, it is time to add some orange wool around it. I'm gonna change my surfaces. And now you're gonna wanna take your orange wool and cover it completely around your pumpkin. So just start felting it on. Then just continue the felting process until your pumpkin is completely orange. Now that you have finished felting your pumpkin completely, it is time to work on the peduncle or the stem. I'm going to use the darkest brown I have for this. You can use any color of brown of your choice. I'm going to roll it into a stem shape, like so. I'm going to leave this end loose, then I'm going to attach to the pumpkin and hold on to that, and then I'm going to make the stem part completely felted. It helps if you roll it in circles as you're felting it, and then just continue the process of felting until it is completely solid as well. Then once you've finished felting your stem, you're going to want to attach it to the pumpkin. So the best way to do that is spread the wool out on the bottom of it. And then you're going to want the wool to go down into each one of your pumpkin ribs here. 
So go ahead and begin felting the stem on. And then grab a small amount of your brown wool and add it on just like that and then continue it around the top all around. So it'll have kind of a star shape when you're done. So that's what it looks like once it's all finished there. And now it's time to felt a leaf for it as well. So you're gonna want two different colors of green, one for the leaf and the other for the lines that you make on it. These don't have to be super big, so you're not gonna need a lot of wool. You can make as many leaves as you'd like. This one, I'm gonna put two on it. So these are gonna be really thin. So when felting these, it's gonna take some time. You're gonna wanna flip them back and forth and felt them really well. You'll leave a pinch loose that you'll use to attach on the top of your pumpkin. And then you can see, kind of give it a teardrop leaf shape. Pumpkin leaves are pretty wide, so don't make it too narrow. And then just continue felting these two leaves until you're done and they're really felted well. Once you've finished felting your leaves, you can go ahead and add on your other color of green just on the top and the best way to do this is roll it between your fingers and make a line down the center about halfway like so and then spread the rest of the green wool out and put it across the top of the leaf just felt it right on in you need a little more wool add some just like that and then do the same to the other leaf Then take your scissors and trim them up. And then if there's extra wool here, remove that because you don't want too much when attaching it. Now you want to attach the leaves to your pumpkin. If you have a part that you want to be the front, think about that because you want to face the leaves forward together a little bit. Don't spread the wool out too much, but a little bit. You'll want to make it a nice, and close attachment. You don't need a ton of green everywhere around it. Really felt it well so it's nice and secure. Repeat the process for the other leaf. All right, then your leaves should be attached just like so. This next part, you're gonna wanna take the wool that you plan to use for your vines and the pencils or some sort of wood rod and take these to your sink where you have running warm water. So take the color of wool you plan to use to make your vine. You're gonna to wanna to tear it apart and kind of turn it into a line. Then roll it between your hands like this, just about four inches in length. Then get your water warm and get your wool completely wet. Then you're gonna to wanna to twist it all the way to the end. You need to flip it over to kind of twist it some too. Get a nice twisted end. Take your pencil or your rod, then take the wool, and as you twist it around the pencil, twist it too. A little water is gonna come out of it. You wanna make sure the wool is twisted really well as you're twisting it on. All the way to the end, and then scrunch it all close together, just like that. And then set it aside, and you're gonna make however many of these you want, I'm going to do four, two on each pencil. You want this to be nice and tight and secure around the pencil too. That'll give the vine a really nice spiral look to it. Then once you have them on your pencil, set them someplace to dry and where they won't unravel. Now that your wool is dried, it's time to attach them on as the vines. So go ahead and just pull them right off the rod. Then if they're too long, see on this one it has a little extra, go ahead and cut that off. And if you need to trim the end up some, do that. And then you're gonna felt the end right on in. 
secure it nice and well. And then repeat until you have all the others attached. And then as you're attaching them, if you need to clean anything up on them, just do so with the scissors. And key here is just to make sure they're really securely felted. All right, and then once that is finished, you're gonna go ahead and give your pumpkin one final look over, trim it up really nice and smooth, do any last felting or adding of orange in areas that might need. Careful not to trim any of your leaf or vines off when doing this. And if you need to do it where you have good sunlight or a rare trash can, that is helpful too. And then you're finished with your pumpkin. that's it that's everything you need to know to make a needle felted pumpkin too and be a fiber artist i hope you enjoyed today's video learned something new if you did please be sure and give it a thumbs up consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet and if there's something you'd like to see me felt next drop it down in the comments below i might just make it thanks so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye